What's up guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about one from Olive Films and it is Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> anyway, uh, this movie is about Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, the movie picks up just before he uh, starts to ascend to uh, rock stardom. Um, he's on hard times though at the beginning of the movie. It uh, doesn't seem like his career is really going anywhere. He's just kind of running into all kinds of problems. But pretty soon um, one of his records hits um, he becomes a local star, and then slowly but surely, he becomes a much bigger star. Uh, before you know it, he's uh, being compared to Elvis Presley. Uh, his One of his relatives is Jimmy Swagger, even though, which was true in real life as well, uh, who's played by uh, Alec Baldwin here, um, who tells him he needs to drop the rock and roll and, you know, turn to Christ. And then uh, as he ascends to stardom, he becomes romantically entangled with his 13-year-old cousin who's played by Winona Ryder. And the movie just kind of plays out what happens as this goofy guy ends up becoming rich and famous. And, you know, it's, it, it basically is like the middle of his life. It picks up right before he becomes a star, and it ends right after the controversy um, of him marrying his 13-year-old cousin. This movie is absolutely nuts. Like, I've seen a lot of biopics, and normally they're just kind of, you know either hero worship pieces where they take the person you know too seriously and gloss over everything they did that was ever bad uh or it's uh you know something that's where they're kind of you know villainized and you know just kind of the complete opposite essentially but then every once in a while you have a movie that's just completely off the rails um here recently we had it with the uh, pt barnum pick uh, the greatest showman which completely ignored history and just told this ridiculous story um in the case of great balls of fire a lot of it is rooted in truth but it takes such a bizarre over-the-top tabloid soap opera approach uh that it's just absolutely outlandish and ludicrous and insanely entertaining dennis quaid gives a performance that is not just over the top but like it would make people who are insane it would make like Nicolas Cage be like hey that's that's a little too much like it is absolutely bananas his performance in this I mean just unbelievable you have to see it to believe it uh, the entire movie though has that super weird over-the-top crazy manic vibe to it it's so much fun to watch um, it is clearly a much lighter uh, melodramatic take on this time in his life actually his real life was pretty dark throughout but especially uh, toward the beginning of the movie it glosses over the problems he had with his uh, in his previous marriages and then uh, it doesn't really go too in depth or really take him to task for the things that he does it just presents what he does and lets you form your own opinions um, he's played as a complete moron as this this yokel who happens to be good at playing the piano and he ends up becoming a famous star the relationship between him and his teenage cousin is portrayed in the most awkward, cringy, and probably accurate way possible, which is that he is so like not emotionally equipped to be an adult that he doesn't really know how to be uh, in a relationship with her, and she's so young and naive, she doesn't know how to be in a relationship with him. It's a really weird dynamic, but it's probably a, a decently accurate portrayal of how things could have been. Uh, but overall, this is just a bonkers movie just completely ridiculous insanely entertaining but if you want like a serious you know uh to the detail uh you know completely accurate look this is not it it glosses over the darker parts of his life but it does include some of the scandals it just portrays them in such a soap opera melodramatic way that it doesn't really seem like it's passing judgment on them i had an absolute blast with great balls of fire it's a movie that I think a lot of people who aren't familiar with it would probably just pass over, assuming that it's just kind of a run-of-the-mill biopic. Do not do that. This movie is absolutely nuts. It is so crazy, so wild. It's so much fun to watch. Um, the Blu-rays from Olive Films. It doesn't have any extras, but the transfer looks really good. It's really clean and clear. It's got solid detail, um, and it, the price is right. So uh, to me, the transfer is the most important part of the uh you know the most important part of it of a blu-ray package and this one looks fantastic um so that's my review of great balls of fire i really recommend it if you like wild over the top just ludicrous soap opera melodrama craziness um it's definitely a really fun ride uh you can read my full write-up of it at markfusion.com as well as oh well well over a thousand other movie reviews i'm also on instagram twitter twitch patreon if you want to get exclusive content five dollars a month gets you access to those videos 
Um, then I'm also on Letterboxd, I diary what I've been watching there. You can get an idea of what might be coming up on the channel soon. But the absolute best way you can help me out is just to hit that sub button. It's a free, easy, direct way to support me, help me to keep making these videos. And also watching old videos um, is also a great way to support me. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of other ludicrous biopics besides uh, Greatest Showman in my playlist. But there's a ton of really weird, quirky genre films and all kinds of stuff in there. So if something catches your eye, uh, just know that watching those old videos is a huge help to me and that I do really appreciate it. I also really appreciate you watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.